Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will put my hot dry haul and my June yes and no in this video so yeah, uh, just to make it quick so let's get started So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this Real Technique brushes the biggest brushes which is the buffer brush I use it for all my powders It's really soft and the body is very sleek and yeah, it's like very metallic so I really like it and also comes with a contour brush which is a smaller head so you can actually apply your contour easily but I rarely use it because like I have no time to contour my face and also this uh, comes with a liquid foundation brush which I use daily to apply my BB cream, my uh, liquid foundation and all the liquidy stuff on my face and it's really soft because I've used other foundation brush before and it's actually very pokey especially around the nose area but this is so soft that I don't feel anything at all it's just so comfy so so comfy comfy and this detailer brush which I use the most because I use it with my concealer it can be a lip brush as well but I use it with my con concealer to like cover up my acne so this is really good and I really like it because it's small enough and it's so soft and I'm not worried that it will poke my pimples or something so yeah 4 brushes for 65 ringgit. I think it's very worth it it comes with this uh, this uh, con I don't know what you call it stand and containers where you can a lot of brushes inside also so yeah before I talk about my favorite blush and my favorite mascara I'll first uh, review this 3CE single eyeshadow that I got from Luxola and I'll swatch it at the back of my hand the thing about this eyeshadow is that it's very flaky and it's really not very pigmented so I'm really very disappointed and the glitter tends to like fall off very very easily and it fall all over your face and then you can see, I just opened this for the first time and you can see there are a lot of these sparkly glitters for all around my eyeshadow already. So I don't think this is a really good product and the price of this is, I think is 37 ringgit for one. And it looks very big but I think it's actually only very very tiny very small amount of products in it so I think this is a no and I will not repurchase it again next up I'm going to talk about my favorite blush so far that I found which is my favorite brand Too Faced if you remember I reviewed one of this in my previous yes and no which is this all about berry and I finally got the one that I want which is this a perfect flush candy glow one which I said it's a lighter color you can compare with the all about berry this is all about berry that I reviewed and this is candy glow the color is so pink it's so me and it's so me so me and I really like it so much because um it has like a shimmery um it's ha it has a shimmery ingredient in it that um it will actually really bring out the definition of your face without using any highlighter so this is actually like a two-in-one product that you can use uh, to highlight and also a very cute blush and also I think this is very good for daily look for working or you know college and uni so I think this is a very great product but of course if you buy it from Sephora 99 ringgit is not worth it because it's very expensive. I got this for um, 50 ringgit including postage from Carousel so I'm really liking it. If you have the budget, go get it. Next up, I'm talking about my favorite mascara which is from Elanto. I know it's a bit weird that I like something from Elanto because it's like a very dodgy brand right? But uh, I think this is like the best mascara I, I tried so far compared to Maybelline. Uh, benefit and so many other brands that I tried before because like at one period I buy so many mascara just to try out which one I like the most and surprisingly this Elanto one is the best one I found which is the power volumizing mascara and waterproof this is really good it lengthens and it actually uh, volumizes my like wimpy eyelashes and I really like it so much because it holds the curl and um, although it smudges a little bit but uh, it's so cheap lah, so cannot blame so much right I bought it during the Elanto sale 3 for 58 so you divide by yourself lah my math is very bad 
So um, I really really like this and so yeah, uh, go buy it if they have sale or something. It's really good. It's better than the it's better than the Estee Lauder and the Benefit one I tried the previous episode. If you haven't watched my previous episode, I'll link it at my description box below and check it out. Next, I'm gonna show my Hajai haul. There's so many things that I want to show. So I'll start with the beauty products first. I didn't get a lot of things. I saw this Light Lifeford Paris brand that they have a lot of cosmetics. You know, I really like eyeliners like especially this kind of like liquid pointy tip one that I really like so this one I get is um, two for probably 30 ringgit I'm not very sure so the tip is very very sharp like this so it's really nice it's so easy to draw and the thing about this right it's so good and it's better than any eyeliners that I've tried including uh, Ico and yeah a lot that I've tried this is the best one that I've found so far but unfortunately I haven't seen them in Malaysia yet so when I'm back in Hajar I'll probably grab like 10 of these because it's so good it never falls off it just doesn't smudge and it doesn't make you look like a panda at the end of the day and it really lasts through the entire day and Needless to say, it's waterproof and I like it so much. I got a black and a brown. The black one I haven't opened yet because I still have so many eyeliners that I haven't used. And the brown one, the color is just very nice. So um, it's not like too light but uh, it's nice enough to to create a daily look so I really like it. Um, Lifeford lipstick. Eventually, my mom bought it first when she went to Hajai for, for the first time and then I saw her lipstick and then I just used them I'm like, ooh, I like this colour, this is so nice and it's so moisturising and it doesn't dry up your lips like and it stays quite long I guess it's like, after you eat, you can still see like a bit of colour it's better than other lipsticks that I've tried the degree of lasting is actually longer than the other lipsticks that I've tried so this one is really nice I can say especially it's very com it's very comfortable on your lips it's not drying at all so I'll really go back and purchase their stuff next time next I'm gonna show um, clothing that I bought like clothes and shoes which I got all under 25 ringgit I can say first gonna show this pair of shoes it's like a floral shoe you can see and then it's with shoelace also so you can actually tie the shoelace here but uh, I don't like to tie shoelace so I just you know wear in like that and then the thing about this right is super duper comfy that I don't feel painful at all and then um, you know I really like floral stuff my bags my everything is floral so um, and then I got it in the color that I like it's only I think it's 25 it's 250 baht which is around 25 ringgit of our money like 25 ringgit which I think is very worth it then I got this uh, feather tassel shorts it's so cute with the tassel down there and then it's like floral prints and then this is like stretchable so um, anyone can wear la. so I really really like this this is so cute and it's white so you can match with any outfit so yeah, so nice. Next, also a short that I also bought one for my cousin, and it's really cute. The detail, this is the shorts that I bought. It's like they have these floral prints in front, which I think is very nice. The last piece I'm gonna show, which is my favorite, also is this. A crotchet dress this dress where you can wear your bikini inside and you don't show your body so you just wear this outside it's so nice and it's it's like you can match with anything you can actually wear something inside and just wear this outside and just go out like example I wear a red, red t-shirt now and I just pair this outside so cute right this is all I have for you guys in this month so yeah give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me I'm going to Brisbane to meet my LDR boyfriend. We've been together for one and a half years and we've been in an LDR for four months. So yeah, I'm going to Brisbane to meet him. So do press the subscribe button below so you can watch my vlog when I'm in Brisbane. The first second I 
post it up. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.